A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss snip and sketch feature in Windows 10. And if you are a persistent user and uh, if you'd like to take a screenshot and sketch those screenshot with some kind of annotation and markup, then this feature will be very useful. And obviously this tutorial will be so since the tool name itself is a snip and a sketch, which is which consists of two words. First one is a snip, which is basically focusing on the taking the screenshot itself. And the second term is the sketch, which is talking about the annotation and markup on those screenshots. So where we can find this feature, we'll go to the search box here and type snip and we will see this option is here snip and sketch and you will see it will open up in the separate windows what we can do we can also pin it up by just right click and pin to the taskbar so that we don't have to search it again and again it will be just pinned so whenever you need it you can just use it you can also activate this feature by clicking the shortcut windows plus shift plus s now let's begin with how we can use this feature. So here you will see the windows where it is open and you will see the option called new. And you can also use the shortcut control N to click it, to activate this new option. So let's click it once and you will see there are multiple options here. First one is the called rectangular snip. Uh, from the name itself, what you can do, you can take a rectangular screenshot like this and uh, you can see it has opened in the sketch dialog box second option you have is again go to the new and you will see an option called freeform snip so what you can do just click it there and you can take as some kind of freeform screenshot again it has opened like this there are another option which is called windows snip and just click it once and then click the specific windows and then it will take the screenshot and you can see it has taken the screenshot so with this there are multiple way to take a screenshot here and if you have if you have done your part just you can close it off now we'll move to discuss what is the sketch feature in this one so what we will do we will just take a screenshot first by something called rectangle to snip and here is the rectangle snip and it will open in the sketch box so here you will see the first option is the touch writing if you have a touch pane then you can write by using that one second option you have is the ballpoint pane if you activate it like this and then you can write whatever you want third option you have is the pencil you can select that and you can write again in the similar way like the ball pen and highlighter again similar thing it can use some kind of you know highlighting feature here is the eraser option also just click it there and then you can erase whatever you have written there there is another interesting feature here called ruler and protractor so if you click it you will see the ruler is activated here and you can make a line as per your choice here like this now you can rotate it also by just uh, center a roller of your mouse just rotate it and then it will rotate accordingly this ruler and again if you want to make a line here just you can make a line there is another option which is called protractor and when you activate it you will see a circle here and then if you want to make a line or circle like this you can make a circle like this so this is a kind of very nice circle you have made it here similarly if you want to make something more you can also make it here is another option called image crop so suppose you don't want a, such a big image you, you can crop it to a smaller one and here i'm going to do it like this suppose i want to crop it like this and 
you will see an option here whether you select this option then it will save it in this way so here you can see it has become smaller and if you want to save it you can just click Control s or just with this this option you can save this image there are a little bit more option here which you can use the existing image file also for the mockup you can open those files you can do some kind of setting change which is options are here so here are some multiple setting option which you can use as per your convenience so that is all for this discussion and hope it has given you an idea about the snip and sketch feature in windows 10 how you have found the video please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it please do like and share for more videos please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the coming videos with this i will say goodbye and see you soon